بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه من ولاه السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته and welcome to the new productive muslim.com website we're really really happy to share this new website with you and want to show you around some of the features of this new website one of the problems we face with the old website is that we can only show a maximum of five posts per page on that single home page. And a lot of our articles got buried in the archives and we couldn't find ways to bring them back to the surface for some of our new readers. So we wanted to make sure with the new website that you can access the different content types in different ways and really bring and make sure the articles become as accessible as possible. So we developed these five categories here to help you access the, our content in better ways. We have the tips section, which basically gives short, short snippets of information which help you become more productive. The articles section where we go in more detail about topics and, uh, and ideas that help you become more productive. The interview section, these are famous interviews with productive Muslims around the world. The videos, these are Friday videos to help you uh, with tips and nasiha and some um, screencasts showing you some of, the, some of those gadgets and softwares we use and the resources section which basically equip you with all the different resources whether it's books, worksheets or wallpapers. One of the great new sections which we want to show you is our resources section. And this section we have three main subcategories, the book reviews, the worksheets, and the wallpaper. The book reviews is basically sharing with you reviews from our readers of books that every productive Muslim should read. And now I want to show you the worksheets and our wallpapers. The worksheet has three main worksheets to share with you. These are worksheets that will help you become more productive in your day-to-day -day life, inshallah. The first one is our famous daily task editor. We've revamped it and redesigned it for the new Productive Muslim website. And basically, the idea of the task editor, just like the previous one, was for you each day to print one copy and then highlight your most important task. Write them down, your most important task for each of these areas. So most important task in terms of your Islam and developing your, your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your family, uh, your work, and your personal development. And then you stick in the number of hours, starting from the starting hour all the way to the end of the day or certain hours in between. And then you block time out, literally block time out for each of the tasks that you've listed here. So the idea of the task taskinator is to help you focus on your most important tasks per day and make sure that you have enough time, that you block enough time for them. Now, the second worksheet we have for you is the weekly task taskinator. This is again another brand new worksheet for you. And the idea is the weekly task taskinator is for you to help you plan uh, your week. Most people have a maximum weekly planning horizon. You know, one month is a bit too far, two months a bit too far. Weekly is probably the, the, the easiest they can uh, go with. So weekly task is there to help you plan your next week. So the idea is that you should put in the project of the day for each of uh, for each day of the week and then to, to figure out what is the most important three tasks you need to achieve for those projects of the day, what resources you need so that you can start preparing for them. Let's say you need to meet certain people or you need to prepare certain, certain paperwork. You need to put the resources here so that you're aware that you have to prepare these resources beforehand and the allocated time for each of these tasks. Now, the idea is that you shouldn't uh, go the detail in the weekly task needed. You just want to put in the overview of the projects and the tasks and feed them in into your daily task needed. We'll talk more about how to use the weekly task needed in the resources section inshallah. Finally, the Productive Muslim Habitator. And the Productive Muslim Habitator is uh, borrowed from our Productive Ramadan Habitator. And the idea is to help you develop good habits or destroy bad ones with this worksheet. So it's a very simple concept. You write the one good habit you want to develop and then you put a tick every time you develop the habit. So for example, let's say you say in the spiritual section, you want to pray tahajjud every night. So every time you pray tahajjud, you, tick, you, press it, you, you basically uh, put a tick. Each tick equals to one point. You need to aim to get at least 25 points for each habit so that you make sure that you actually developed that habit. And similarly, you can you can put a habit to uh, to, to destroy a habit. You can use the habit eater to destroy a habit. So for example, let's say you want to destroy the habit of being late for salah. So you need to put a tick every time you are late for salah and you need to reduce the number of ticks per month to you know maximum five. And that's how you use the, the Productive Muslim Habitator to ensure that you are 
to ensure that you develop good habits and destroy bad habits. You can do it for three areas, uh, your spiritual side, your physical side, like eating breakfast, um, going to the gym, social and social productivities, for example, giving charity, doing their work, and so on and so forth. And finally, our wallpaper. Now, inshallah, we will um, be designing a lot of new wallpapers so that you can decorate your uh, desktops with and really have it something where it inspires you to become productive each day. So this is, for example, this is our new wallpaper. It's a beautiful design and it's there to remind you about time and how we should make most of that time. We have our logo and our, and our slogan here and really want you to have this on your desktop and inspire others you know people would pass by and see this and say oh what's that and start talking to them about productive muslim and how you know every productive every muslim should be productive and we should work towards a productive ummah inshallah ta'ala the next feature i want to show you is our commenting platform and our social media sharing buttons so if you notice now, once you get to our comments, it's basically we're using a platform called Discuss. And the beauty of this platform is it allows you to log in through any of your social uh, media, so through Facebook, through Twitter, through OpenID, or to simply post as a guest and your name. And the idea is that once you've posted, other people can like your, your comment, they can reply to it, and we can develop a very interactive way of, of, of discussing some of the content in the website, inshallah. But also, more importantly, once you read an article and you really like it we really want you to tweet it to share it to use for stumble upon or to dig and just you know send it by to your emails and really push uh, these articles to as many people as you can we want to work towards a productive ummah and one of the and the least that all of us can do is when we find a good articles to share it around and to make sure that other people uh, read it as well inshallah We have a new uh, section in the new website, which you did not have before in the old website. It's called Ask a Question. And the idea of this section is basically for you to ask us any question related to your productivity. So let's say you have any issues regarding productivity and you're not sure about, you send us the question and we'll respond to you. After we respond to you, we'll ask your permission to post your question and our answer in this section so that other people can benefit from your question. So we would like you all to ask us any question you have related to productivity and we'll do our, our best to respond to them so that we can have, a, so we can all learn from each other and really um, benefit from each other from the, through this Q&A, inshallah. With the new website, we wanted others to help us with developing the content and really uh, contributing for the website. So we have this section called Write For Us. And the idea of this section is simply for you to fill in your form to show your interest in writing for Productive Muslim. How often can you write? What sort of content you currently write? What sort of topics do you like to write about? And then we'll contact you with our guidelines on how to write for ProductiveMuslim.com. This will be a great way for you to interact with our reader and to really contribute towards uh, building and helping the Ummah become more productive. So we urge you all to, to join us in our productivity journey, inshallah. Finally, I want to show you how you can subscribe to our email updates or email newsletter. So we have two sort of emails that we will send out. First is an email every time a new article is published on the website and this is for you for those of you who don't want to visit the website and just simply want to receive articles via the email or you can actually uh, subscribe to our ePro newsletter which is basically an exclusive newsletter for all our subscribers who want to receive uh, content that's not actually on the website so we're going to talk about uh, really exclusive content uh, for, for people who want to sign up for those. So you simply write your name, your email and you choose whether you want to have blog updates which are articles sent to you or newsletter or both and click subscribe now or if you want you can also subscribe to our RSS feed which will only show you uh, latest updates uh, whenever we publish a new content and once you subscribe you will not miss another Productive Muslim article. So that's it this is the uh, Productive the new Productive Muslim website I hope you love it enjoy it and make the most of it and we really want to see you on the website interact with us and we could just you know benefit each other and we should all work towards a productive ummah inshallah jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh